What's good? It's Mr. Mixer, and I have three tips to improve your recording. Let's get to it. Okay, the first tip I have for you is mic control. Mic control is very, very important, and a lot of rappers don't know about mic control, but I feel like a lot more singers know about it, but some singers might not know about it. So let's enlighten you on mic control. Mic control is when you have a consistent rapping or singing pace, and once you get louder than what you've already been doing, you need to pull back. So, so say I'm saying like, I am the one. Like I will pull back on one. And I'll be like, I am the one. And that will give me more of a consistent sound where that one isn't like what you know what i'm saying so like when the engineer has to compress and eq and all of that good stuff like it doesn't come out in a bad tone a frequency like a distorted kind of sound you don't want distortion no distortion for for a uh, recording you don't want that at all so the best way to help is to pull off of your mic you don't want to like overload your mic you don't want to do that one thing so Mic control is very important. You got to do it unless it's a, like if you do parts, like if you do a lot of punch ins, that might help with uh, where you don't have to do as much mic control. But I advise to like get the get the words down, get it, learn it, try it a few times, you know, that will get into my next point, And that is knowing what sounds good, what sounds good to me might not sound good to you, but I want you to learn the difference between good and bad sound. Sound is very important, I'm telling you. So when you're standing at this mic and you're listening back at your voice, you need to make sure you sound like you. You need to make sure you don't sound like a lot of stuff going on on you or you're too loud or you don't wanna do that. You actually wanna be lower in volume while recording because you don't want to peak you don't want to peak at all so you want to like right where i'm standing is about a neutral spot i would actually like sometimes i stand further back just to try to get make sure i don't overload my mic or say something too hard and get too much in there all of this affects the outcome of the signal going into what the engineer is processing and everything else he does from that amplifies he takes out but he amplifies so what you do is very important in the beginning it's not a, just about being in this booth and recording you have to be at a certain position in the mic so that is mic control know when it sounds good you need to know when it sounds good you need to know your voice you need to know that it sounds like you you are your best tool, your, your vocals, you know, drink water, drink warm water, drink, just make sure your voice, your, your throat is good. So yeah, know when it sounds good and inside the headphones, you have to know the room of your voice inside the headphones. So if it doesn't sound good while you're recording, it's not going to sound good, period. So. Well, I take that back. I've made some miracles out of some distorted vocals and created some cool effects out of some stuff and nobody ever knew. But like I say, if you want to do it the right way and achieve this, yes. So my last tip, all of these you want to apply, you want to try these out. And while you're trying them, you want to test them out. So that means you're not doing your, your final recording. You're not doing anything final you want to listen just to see how it sounds especially if you're engineering yourself you want to do test runs you want to spit the verse all the way through listen back at it see how it sounds see if it's distorted see if it sounds like you see what works and what doesn't work so these three tips right here should help you so let me run them back we got mic control which is the standing um well which is not the standing but it's the 
the control of your voice, your power. You want to when you power it out, you want to come back. Um, so that's my control. Uh, no one, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good in the headphones. We don't need to be recording because the engineer should already be catching on to this. But you have to know when you sound bad. If you don't know when you sound bad, then that's exactly what you're gonna get. Test recording. You want to do a few runs before you actually record your actual vocals. You don't want to just start recording and be like, oh, it's, it's good. It ain't good. It's good when you, you sit back and listen back at it and it's like, okay, yeah. Then if you need to redo, you redo it until it's right. You do it until it's right. So I hope I help somebody at this mic right here. Um, three tips in recording that can improve. You know you can do it. Let's get it. Mr. Mixer thought it was a game. Let's get it. I'll be back for more videos. You, you, you are now rocking Mr. Mixer.